Hi guys, John here, and I've just watched The Sims 4 Supernatural Stuff Pack. Now, I've never seen one of the trailers premiere live on YouTube before. I've never seen that. Normally, I catch it on Facebook or YouTube a few hours after it's come out. And I've never done a Sims vlog before in the past year. I think Sims has been such... With this crazy manic world that's been going on, Sims has been such a nice release, a nice escape. You know, when I just want to escape into something, I can just play Sims and... Um, I'm, I love gameplay mainly, I'm more of a gameplay player, but I do like building and create sims as well. I like to um, really immerse myself in the different worlds, um, but I'm more of a gameplay person, I love the gameplay. So when I first heard that there was a pack coming out that was kind of related to the poll that was I think at the end of 2019 or the start of 2020, which was um, a poll that the stuff pack initially released the knitting pack. But there was also a second place which was Happy Haunts. And I remember I saw that and I was so intrigued because at the time I was really into the realm of magic that had just come out. Vampires I think is pretty Marmite, isn't it? I think it's 50-50. I was really excited about Vampires when I first heard about it. But I have to admit I rarely play it. And I don't know if it's just me but I never get... I keep seeing lots of people complaining about vampires knocking on the door and, you know, Vladimir, you know, coming to suck your blood. But I get none of that. I don't know if that's just me, but I, have I switched it off? I don't know. But yeah, I feel like I don't really play the vampire pack that much. I made one of my sims a vampire and then got a little bit bored and I think he made, made him into a, like a pipe organ player and made him famous and then I was like, okay, I'm a bit done with this. But generally, I love the supernatural vibe. Sims 3 did such an amazing supernatural pack and I really, I really love the realm of magic. I think it was really strong. I love the world. I love the spells. Um, I love the continuation of sort of sort of fame perks but for spells it was sort of the same principle but applied to more of a supernatural thing but i really like that the perks you get uh, from it so when i first heard about the supernatural pack i initially thought we already have ghosts we already have vampires and witches you know what else can we have so i initially thought which of the voter polls are we going to get and one of them was, I remember, which really took my interest, was about the Grim Reaper. Maybe you can like, join the Grim Reaper on a little adventure. I saw the Grim Reaper in the trailer, but I don't believe that that is one of the features, so I doubt that's going to be a thing, but I, lo I hope that somehow the Grim Reaper is such a presence in all Sims games, and I feel like there's something really exciting there that could be developed, so I really hope that there's like a, even a little thing, I don't know what that little thing is, but just some more interaction with the Grim Reaper, because I love, I, I love that concept of the Grim Reaper being such a constant through every Sims, one, two, three, and four, and even in four, he's such like a figure of Sims, um, you know, I feel like everyone's married the Grim Reaper and had tried to have Grim Reaper baby. Yeah, so one of the gameplay features is a seance. Now, from previous stuff packs, you know, we can think back to my first pet stuff pack. Let's, the gameplay's pretty limited. And I feel like in the past few years, sim players have got a lot more vocal. There's a lot more sim, pack, sim players now. And I think ever since the whole Star Wars thing, um, I think people have been, you know, we want farms, we want this. And I think a lot of the Sims 3 packs have now been replicated in Sims 4 already with a different name. Maybe a few things, you know, not there. Like a more watered down version. Personally, controversial, but I'm really liking the way my Sims is at the moment and I love how full my Sims 4 world is. I People saying that they don't know what to do. I feel like I have so much to do um, with all of the packs, all of the games and so many story options. So I'm so excited to see what's new the Sims 4 that we've not seen on another Sims pack. And I don't think we've had a seance before, unless I'm mistaken, and I love that idea of a seance. And then there's also a new career, which is another gameplay feature, which is, it feels more like a game pack, so how limited are these gonna be? But I really like the idea of um, a freelance career of ghost hunting, like a bit ghostbustery, you know, going around to houses, finding all the ghosts and sort of exor exorcisting, is that a word? Them out of the house. That, I can already picture the stories that I'm gonna do, do with that and I think that's so exciting to have all that gameplay features in a stuff pack as well as all the stuff stuff. And then I think one of the other big features is having the lot trait as the haunted house. Personally, I never, re I don't love lot traits. I don't see a big thing with them. My favorite one is the island spirits I, when I played, because um, I seem to like play on, on a different pack and a different 
um, location for a while. So I played on the island for I think about like quite a while last year, and I had a whole storyline that was going on there. And I had the island spirits that were popping up in the um, the lottery, and I thought that was really nice. And there was like a gameplay interaction, and it really integrated. Some of them, you know, I like the dog one as well, like a lot of dogs come, dog breeding ground or something. But generally, the lot traits, a lot of them I don't really, it doesn't impact much. I really have to look for it, for it to have an impact. Whereas Haunted House, I'm, I feel like it's going to be really promising. From the trailer, there was a shot of a guy in the, the hallway and the rooms were falling, the, the lights were flickering and I love the idea of these little ghosts going around, which aren't the traditional ghosts that we have, these little mini ghosts, some look a bit angry. Almost reminded me of, a, is this going to be like a gnome, where you've got to like appease the, the, the ghost? Appease the ghost every like, if you've got that haunted house tray or maybe you build a, I like the idea of maybe if you build a relationship with them and do you, if you're enemies they turn into more like an angry ghost and if they're more of a nice ghost, if you're like friends, they turn into like a happy ghost and I like, I like the idea of interacting with the house, maybe if it helps with certain skills, maybe it could I like the idea of it helping the psychic with a career as well. You know, maybe if the, I'm thinking out loud of my storyline for my character, maybe for like my ghost hunting freelance career, Sim also has a haunted house tray, lot, um, lot tray and she comes home and you know, she's like friends with all of the ghosts and they're like talking about the day. Just thinking out loud, I don't quite like that idea. Um, yeah, so, I'm really excited for this pack. This is my first response. I'm just thinking back now and if there's anything I missed. The stuff looks kind of cool. I feel like they've got a lot of packs that have... We've had the Vampire pack. We've had the Realm of Magic pack. So the stuff sort of feels like a, a little addition to that. I don't feel like I saw anything unless I'm... It, I've only seen the trailer once. So I mean, I'm going to look back soon. I just watched it on the premiere. But I don't think I saw anything that particularly... I was like, oh, that's interesting. There's the little lamp in the initial gif that everyone was like, oh, what is this? What is this? Happy Haunt stuff pack is coming. Interesting. I've not seen the general response yet, but for a stuff pack, I think this is a lot of gameplay, a lot of intrigue, you know, new freelance career, really interesting, as well as a new skill, as well as the new lot trait, as well as this new um, seance thing, which I think will be really interesting. I hope it's not just a one trick animation. I hope it's really interesting seance. I hope, you know, it affects maybe the sentiments, maybe you could fit in with that new thing or something going on and if you do it alone maybe and you do it with someone else and maybe how does it relate to like a, an act because ghosts are already in the game and I was thinking how do the ghosts that are already in the game, how are they going to apply to this new sim world? There's a lot to unpack. There's a lot to unpack and I'm very excited. It comes out I think the 26th, I may be wrong, um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm such. I used to like wait a while for for the go before they go on sale, um, which I might do the same. But I think a stuff pack's not, you know, it's not too bad. Um, or you know, CD keys. Just saying. Um, but no, I'm very excited. Very excited. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I'm gonna do a few more sim stuff. I also do like a series on health anxiety and um, I also have some music on my channel so please subscribe and check out some of the music and check out some of the random vlogs that I've been doing. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do more sim stuff as well because it's been keeping me sane through lockdown. It's been really nice. Uh, thank you for watching. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. Enjoy your day.